Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning about link reaction and the Krebs cycle. Remember in glycolysis the glucose molecule is broken down to two pyruvate molecules. This process is called as glycolysis and glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm. And how many ATP molecules are formed? Totally four. And two ATP molecules are used up during this reaction. So the net production is only two ATP molecules. So glycolysis, in fact, releases less than a quarter of the chemical energy in glucose that can be released by cells. And most of the energy remains stockpiled in the two molecules of the pyruvate. And here comes the importance of the link reaction. So here is the mitochondrion with its double membrane. And the pyruvate molecules are in the cytoplasm. If molecular oxygen is present, the pyruvate enters the mitochondria. So the link reaction connects the pyruvate molecule to the aerobic respiration reactions in the mitochondria. Let's check out the features of the link reaction. Link reaction takes place if only molecular oxygen is present. So the pyruvate, the end product of the glycolysis, will follow aerobic pathway rather than anaerobic. The pyruvate passes from the cytoplasm to the mitochondrial matrix. By active transport, of course. Well, upon entering the mitochondria by active transport, the pyruvate is first converted to a compound called acetyl coenzyme A. Pyruvate is a three carbon containing compound. You don't need to know the biochemical details of the link reaction, but it's obvious that the three carbon pyruvate turns into two carbon acetyl CoA. So one carbon dioxide molecule is lost. And we call this process as decarboxylation, meaning that carbon dioxide molecule is removed from the pyruvate. And then one hydrogen atom is removed by the process named as dehydrogenation. And the electrons are picked up by NAD. So reduced NAD is also a product of link reaction. And the remaining compound combines with coenzyme A. This coenzyme A is a complex molecule and is composed of nucleoside, which means adenine plus ribose, and a vitamin, a B vitamin, to be exact, pantothenic acid. So eventually acetyl-CoA is formed. I need to remind you that fatty acids from fat metabolism may also be used to produce acetyl-coenzyme A. Or as we commonly know, the Krebs cycle. The name is given to honor the Hans Krebs, the German-British scientist who was largely responsible for the working out of the pathway around 1930s. The cycle functions as a metabolic furnace that oxidizes organic fuel derived from the pyruvate. Well, there are many compounds involved in the Krebs cycle, but I'll keep things simple and limited for A2 biology. You don't need to know any of the intermediate compounds. Let me just outline the basic events and then I'll go into some detail. Well, the Krebs cycle begins with the acetyl coenzyme A combining with the four carbon compound, the oxaloacetate, to form a six carbon compound, the citrate. So here is a two carbon acetyl CoA combining with four carbon oxaloacetate and forming the citrate or citric acid. So that's the first compound that the cycle takes its name. Well, later on, the citrate is decarboxylated. Remember, it loses a carbon in form of carbon dioxide and dehydrogenated, so it loses also hydrogen atoms. So electrons are picked up by some electron carriers in a series of steps to yield carbon dioxide, which is given off as a waste gas. And eventually, oxaloacetate is regenerated to combine with another acetyl CoA. Let me summarize the Krebs cycle for you. So two carbon containing acetyl CoA from the link reaction combines with the four carbon oxaloacetate, forming the first compound of the Krebs cycle, the citric acid or citrate, which has six carbon. So Krebs cycle involves cycle of events from six carbon citrate to four carbon oxaloacetate. Now let's check out the products. From 6 carbon to 4 carbon, definitely 2 carbon atoms are lost in the form of carbon dioxide. So, carbon dioxide and another carbon dioxide are lost. Krebs cycle also results with 3 reduced NAD. Reduced NAD. Okay. 
again reduce to NAD it's easier to write NADH and one more reduce NADH so in one of the dehydrogenation the electrons are picked up by FAD so reduced FAD or FADH2 is also formed at some point in the Krebs cycle substrate level ATP is also formed substrate level phosphorylation is directly phosphorylating ADP with a phosphate and energy provided from a coupled reaction so the products of Krebs cycle are two carbon dioxide molecule three reduced NAD one reduced FAD one ATP molecule that is produced at substrate level phosphorylation but we have to multiply this by two but why our starting point is one glucose molecule and in glycolysis two pyruvate are formed pyruvate pyruvate and then in link reaction two acetyl CoA and then in Krebs cycle two Krebs cycle for one glucose molecule two pyruvate to acetyl CoA and two Krebs cycle is running okay let's check out the past paper question about Krebs cycle the Krebs cycle occurs in the matrix of mitochondrion figure 6.1 outlines the steps of the Krebs cycle a with reference to figure 6.1 Name the process occurring at 1 and 3. Let's check out what happens 1 and 3. Carbon dioxide mo molecule is released and carbon dioxide molecule is released. What is the scientific term of the release of carbon dioxide molecule? Decarboxylation. What about 2, 4, 6 and 7? At 2, okay, hydrogen splits, 4, another hydrogen, 6, another hydrogen and... 7 hydrogen split cell. What is the name of the process in which hydrogen splits away? Dehydrogenation. Well, pay attention here. When this compound gives away hydrogen, gives also away electrons. So that compound is oxidized. So we can also write here either dehydrogenation or oxidation. Okay, what happens at number 5? Let's check out. ATP is produced. But you have to be careful here. The question asks you the name of the process. So you just cannot say energy is released or ATP is produced. You have to say that it's substrate level phosphorylation. B. Name the compounds K and L. Okay, where is compound K? K is here. So it picks up the hydrogen atom. So electron carrier. We have two electron carriers, either NAD or FAD. And this is for sure NAD. How do I know that? Because there is only one FAD involved in the Krebs cycle and it's shown in the question. So K is NAD, but if you say NAD, it's wrong because K is the compound that already has taken electrons. So it's reduced NAD or NADH. Okay, what about compound L? There is it. L is here. L is the last compound in the citric acid cycle. So the oxaloacetate is regenerated. So we finished the link reaction and the Krebs cycle today. That's all for this video.